here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really want it like oh, yeah. Here comes the So when airbag ignites three reactions happen simultaneously First, sodium azide decomposes rapidly and produces sodium, metal, and nitrogen gas. Then, the sodium that it sets free combines with the potassium nitrate and releases even more nitrogen gas. And then, the heat released by these reactions produce silicone dioxide and form small pieces of unreactive and stained glass. Oh. Airbags and car collisions have to deal with the laws of motion. The laws of motion state that unless an outside force acts upon an object, the object will continue to move at its current speed and direction. The cars consist of several objects. The vehicle itself, loose objects in the car, and passengers. If these objects are not restrained, they will continue moving at whatever speed the car is traveling at, even if the car is stopped by collision. Stopping an object's momentum requires a force acting over a period of time. When a car crashes, the force required to stop an object is very great because the car's momentum changed instantly while the passengers had not. What an airbag wants to do is to slow down the passenger's speed to zero with little or no damage. The limitations that it has to work with are huge. The airbag has a space between the passenger and the steering wheel or the passenger and the dashboard and a fraction of a second to work with. There are three parts to an airbag that help accomplish the speed. The bag itself, which is made of a thin nylon fabric which is folded into the steering wheel or dashboard, or even more recently, the seat or the door. The sensor is the device that tells the bag to inflate. The inflation happens when there is a collision force equal to running into a brick wall at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. The airbag's inflation system is the third part that helps accomplish this feat. John Hedrick patented his idea in 1953 for what he called safety cushion assembly for automotive vehicles and they are now mandatory in all cars. So there are many airbags in a car. The standard ones are the ones in the steering wheel and the passenger airbags right here. Some cars have the door mounted side impact airbags and some cars also have the head protection window curtain airbags. I was seen right here. However, airbags can actually be dangerous. Airbags use sodium azide as an explosive. And unfortunately, sodium azide and its byproduct, hydrozoid acid, are some of the most lethal poisons known. In addition to the toxicity, the chemical can burn the eyes and the lung. From 1990 to 2000, 168 deaths have been caused by airbags inflating too low in crashes that really didn't need them. Most deaths by airbags are caused by not using the seatbelt or not using it properly. Statistics show that airbags properly can reduce the risk of dying in a direct frontal crash by about 30%. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration estimates that the combination of an airbag plus a lapsed shoulder belt reduces the risk of serious head injury by 81% compared with a 60% reduction for belts alone. Okay, so to minimize the risk of an airbag, you can put your seat back 12 inches. I'm way too far forward right now, so... Yeah, that's more than 12. Okay, well, as far back pretty much as you can go where you can still reach the pedals is fine. Slightly like recline the back of your seat. So you can also raise your seat so you can see the road. Whoa. So you can point the airbag more towards your chest than to your face so it doesn't like hit you in the face. You see? Now it's towards my chest. AAA recommends that instead of putting your hands at 10 and 2, you should put them at 9 and 3. So when the airbag explodes it doesn't hit you in the arms or your and the rules are different for children. An airbag can seriously injure or even kill a child who is sitting too close to a door is thrown toward the dash during an emergency braking. Experts agree that the following safety points are important. Children 12 and under should ride in the back, buckled up, in a properly installed age-appropriate car seat in the rear seat. Infants in rear-facing child seats under 1 years old and weighing less than 20 pounds should never ride in the front seat of a car that has a passenger side airbag. If a child over one year old must ride in the front seat with a passenger side airbag, he or she should be in, the fr in a front facing child seat, booster seat, or properly fitted lap slash shoulder belt, and the seat should be moved as far back as possible. Some vehicles have airbag on off switches for times when there is a child riding in the front passenger seat 
or the front passenger has a certain medical condition. Boom, 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 gotta get that. 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 Boom, 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 that boom, 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 that boom, boom, boom.